All right, I'm at 335 Jeanette. I'm gonna do a tour of the property here. Horseshoe driveway. Wrapping around the drive golf course for you, of course. Uh, the driveway is in sad shape. Um, it's not super sad shape, but it, it ultimately is gonna need broken out and replaced at some point. Um, you can see gaps uh, where it's kind of floating. Many cracks and breaks. They've sealed it a couple different times. Um, but all along, there's a big break over here. Uh, it's... Uh, Not going to be a project that would have to happen as soon as you move in, but uh, it at, at some point in time it's going to have to be addressed. There's a, another driveway for the garage over here, so ample parking. Uh, balcony there. We'll look, go that way and look at the backyard in a minute. Little pond on the golf course over there. There's a gate right here so that you can walk into the golf course. I don't know if it's locked or unlocked, but uh, it does look like the, the neighborhood would have access to get on the, the golf course after hours. All right, so coming in, there's a Sidewalk around here that I'll show you. Uh, that door enters into one of the bedrooms. All right, so we walk in to the stairwell. As soon as you come in, the Sitting room, living room. There's a formal dining room. The uh, ceiling fan wouldn't turn on when I flipped the switch in this room. Might be on one of the strings, I didn't try. There's a coat closet to the right. We're gonna pan around, show you. Everything here, nice high chandelier. It's the loft there. Come down into the, the dining room. It's a single step down into the dining room. And then over into the kitchen. Refrigerator to go to my immediate right. Sink. Uh, electric stove. There's no gas line there. Hallway down. That's a, the only bedroom downstairs is down there. Here we got a plenty of storage in the pantry. Coil and heater unit. It's a six inch filter. You, those you only have to change twice a year. Uh, it looks like a newer unit. Eat in kitchen. Put a small table here. This way, this is the, the laundry room. Washer and dryer go down there. Some steps to get, get down. Coming down here, that's the garage. And this is the closet. This door will not open. Um, 
I don't know if the door swelled or there's movement. I don't know if it's locked on the other side. This door takes you to the backyard. So you can't actually see what's inside the garage. That'll be something that we will absolutely have fixed prior to closing. Um, this wood flooring that's in here, um, it's just a lamp, uh, uh, laminate. Um, it honestly doesn't, it's not the highest quality. Um, I'm no, no, no judge, but it's, it's, it's a cheap floor. Uh, the tile in the, the kitchen is nice. I like the wood looking tile. Um, that floor is definitely nicer than the, the laminate that's through the rest of the house. Covered back porch. There's signs of, there was some water damage at some point here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's super active. I, I would think that it's probably something that was repaired. Um, no fence in the backyard. Nice big concrete slab. Got the sewer clean out in the middle of one of these steps here. Original siding. Uh, once you see it, uh, it it can stand to be painted. Um, down the lower half looks like it's been painted, but up in between these the roof pitch on the back side um, looks like it, it could use a fresh coat of paint. Uh, lots of wasp nests. So. There is a, an alley um, that runs through here with no fence. So um, potentially people are just going to kind of be driving through your backyard sometimes. It, it does look like it is a traveled alleyway. Walk out and show you. Um, they've, they're not putting garbage cans back, back here anymore. But... Uh, People do use this alley. So without a back fence, it's it's kind of like people just driving through your backyard. Some of the, uh, you can see like this window has been changed, but that one's original. These ones are original. Uh, house was built in 1987, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, so, these windows... Uh, they, they, I was thinking they'd be single pane, but they might be double. They're um, not modern windows, but they're not horrible windows, if that makes any sense. All right, so we're gonna head over into bedroom one, the only bedroom downstairs. There's a half bathroom right here. Single vanity. And the, the quirkiest thing I've seen in a house in some time happens here. Here's the, the bedroom and boom, shower. So, Jump out of bed and take a shower. Uh, this is the door I showed you on the outside that, that wraps around the front of the house. That one goes to the backyard. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the, the shower just in the room like that. It's, uh, it's odd. No man's land. So the fridge is just wasted space. All right, so we're gonna come up the stairs. The carpet looks brand new up here. It's 
the loft and the master. Overlooking the living room. Right, here we have storage closet and attic access. Bedroom number one. Full bath. And it's all been redone. Nice floors in the bathroom. Bedroom number two has a door to get into the bathroom. Back into the corner here. They're decent sized secondary bedrooms. Out onto little balcony. Down the hallway to the loft. Then bedroom number three. This is a nice big bedroom. Lots of closet space. Then down few stairs into the master, nice high ceilings. Let me spin around here. It's a good size room. Then here we have walk-in closet. Probably call this his closet because just up into the bathroom here we have her closet. Maybe the other way around. Either way. Then we got the throne room. Single vanity. Walk in shower. Then we'll finish our tour of the house out on the master balcony overlooking the golf course. Another wasp nest. Oh, the cold front's blown in since I started this video. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, I think the temperatures dropped 10 degrees in the, the 13 minutes I've done this. It was 83 on my, my watch when I started. Uh, my watch says it's 70 degrees now. So that's uh, absolutely insane. But yep. Yeah. Golf course view. Three three five Jeanette. Let me know if you have any questions.